there's a question in the chat about how do you train the agent as a judge with the necessary pattern? So in the paper example here, they actually um, had it trained uh, on specific examples from a data set that they had generated, if I remember correctly. So they had to actually sort of train and tweak the agent itself uh, as a judge, which is actually what we often do with LLM as a judge, even in our platform. So again, when we're working with, with customers there, we'll often kind of train and tweak the LLM prompt to be to match some ground truth data that they might have labeled. And so I think typically within an agent as a judge, if you're trying to make it specific in that way, then you would have to kind of do a similar thing. So you would have some amount of ground truth data potentially for your individual tools, for example. So you might have ground truth data for the execution of the locate tool or things like that. Um, and then from there, you can kind of train the judge based on that information to scale it up from there. And then there's a follow-on question, which is how does it prevent hallucinations? Uh, so similar kind of thing, by, by training that agent on uh, some existing ground truth data, then you would kind of build it up from there and you would maybe not remove all of the potential for mistakes, but you would at least understand how closely your agent as a judge aligns to human labels. And that's kind of what they're reporting on you here in the end of the paper. They're going through uh, the alignment rate between the agent as a judge and then the majority vote of humans. Um, so one thing to call out to is that you see even the majority vote has this 95% alignment rate. That is because they then have kind of the creators of the data set, the, the experts in this case, actually having the ground truth labeled example there versus these individual humans who are making the judgment. So I think it's always funny with these examples because correctness is to some degree still subjective. So this is in this case, just at least using uh, the creators of the data set they tested with as the alignment rate or as the ground truth there. So yes, yeah, so whenever you're building one of these systems, it's hard to avoid it coming down to some amount of ground truth data or labeled data. And typically the pattern, whether you're doing LLM as a judge or agent as a judge, is that you start from that ground truth labeled data, and then you can build up either an LLM as a judge or an agent as a judge to replicate your own judgment as represented by that ground truth data. So you can replicate, you can get the agent to be very good at replicating those judgments you're making and then scale it up from there. So now you don't have to do human review across all of these different paths. And then there's a, another question, which is, can we create a custom agent as a judge? So definitely that would be kind of how you would go through that process. Uh, and then can we integrate with MCP or A to A? That is definitely a way that you could, you could incorporate an agent as a judge. So if you were to create a custom agent as a judge, then you could set up that agent as a judge to connect with different platforms through A to A. So through agent to agent, Google's framework, or using MCP if you wanted to make the agent service in that way. I think, again, the thing that we run into oftentimes, though, is that it's not a one-size-fits-all for agent as a judge. Uh, if you create an agent as a judge, it's not going to work across all different uh, kinds of agents that you want it to judge. You'd have to do some tweaking on specific areas there. And that's an area that we are definitely uh, doing our own kind of deep diving into as well as we go. Oh, and then there's a question around, uh, great, thanks. How do we monitor it? Can Arise help us? So, yes, we definitely can. Uh, and that is something that we can do within the platform. And we have a good bit of time left, so I'm actually going to just jump into some of the platform and I'll show you guys uh, some of what that looks like because we have a little bit of time. So I'm going to go slightly off script here and show you some of those pieces. And so in previous rounds, uh, we had looked at some of the examples within the Arise dashboard around how we do this. Uh, so within the Arise platform that we have here, uh, we've talked about ways of uh, kind of tracing agents. And I think the thing that's important to know here is that all of the stuff that we have learned about for how you evaluate agents so far with these different techniques can be applied to your agent as a judge. So if you're going to build an agent as a judge, then you can actually apply all of the same techniques that we just learned about to evaluate your other agents through your judge agent. At the end of the day, the judge agent is just another kind of agent. And so you can apply all these techniques that we used uh, to that specific agent. So for example, uh, you might have a example agent that you're tracing that is a particular judge agent, and you can capture traces on it from here. And then you can add in different metrics. Like we may, for example, we may add a um, particular eval to our judge agent, for example. So if we had a uh, judge agent, we could add an evaluation or we'll say judge agent correctness. And so we could do this, say we had an example agent judge that we were using, and we could apply either an LLM eval or a code-based eval to judge that agent's correctness. So we might have an LLM eval, for example, where we create our own specific prompt uh, around, I'll do a base example here, or, you know, let's do this. We'll do a base example here. So we could use an LLM as a judge to evaluate our agent judge's correctness. We're getting very meta at this point. Uh, we could go for that approach and build our own template around that. And so we could apply that within our agent judge, or we could actually do a comparison against ground truth. Say we had a ground truth set of labeled data. We could run uh, our agent judge over a couple of different examples to actually have it uh, test and compare against that ground truth. And then from there, 
we could create our tasks. We could create a different uh, metrics that we want to do. And eventually we could build up our own uh, dashboards that show things like the uh, agent as a judge correctness on a sort of month time frame. Or we'll expand this back further. So we can look at our agent as a judge correctness over time, kind of graphed through the same tools that we looked at in previous sessions to actually measure the agent's performance uh, generally. So there's all the techniques that we've used so far could be applied to your agent as a judge. Folks have ever heard the, the famous quote around it's turtle all the way down uh, in terms of what is holding up the earth. Someone says it's on the back of a turtle. And then someone says, what's that turtle standing on? And they say another turtle. And they go, what's that turtle standing on? And the guy says, it's turtles all the way down to a degree. Where it's kind of where we're getting to with this. We're, we're using agents to judge agents. And then we're using the existing evaluation techniques that we have gone through to actually create the agent judge. But really, instead of turtles all the way down, we have a base level of some amount of human level labeled data that we're creating to use as that ground truth. Mm -hmm.